starting moment assumption and also you all know more or less how to sketch your shear force and bending moment diagram the next thing that we're going to look is going to be known as unsymmetrical bending okay or centric unsymmetrical bending okay. so I'm, I'm going to write up uh i'm going to write up the the formula for all of you first so the formula that i'm, I'm going to write is equal is for centric unsymmetrical so the the fact the equation we're going to use is stress x is equal to my over iyy multiplied by z minus mz over izz multiplied by y okay uh don't worry about the sign okay uh i will teach you uh how to identify whether is it tensile or compression again using the what moment vector okay so now how does this work why this equation okay why this equation so as you can see right i'm going to call equation number one okay so as you can see equation number one has two moments or two applied moments which is my and mz okay has two moments which is my and mz so how does this work right how 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 does this work okay how does uh uh two moments uh two moments look in an actual beam okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna sketch this out now so i'm gonna do a 3d sketch or i hope to do a, a 3d sketch so this is our this is our beam Okay, so this is our beam now. And our beam is built in on the other end. So the beam is built in on the other end. Ah, the beam is built in. Somehow it looked weird like that, but it's okay. <laughs> so it is built in on one end. Okay. And then I'm going to now sketch our uh, transformation. So this is our transformation so this is our x y and z okay so i'm going to sketch out the centroid okay and on this centroid okay so uh, on this centroid this is over here i call my point c okay and we have a load okay we have a a, a a moment okay we have a moment in this direction okay and th this is our resultant moment and the moment okay the moment is 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 parallel to the x to the yz plane so the applied moment okay. 
so the applied moment M is acting parallel to the YZ plane or it's acting on the YZ plane. Okay, I can also call it parallel to the YZ plane. Okay. So now if we were to now view it, so this thing is flat. Okay, this thing is the, 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 the applied moment M is on just it has to be parallel or on the yz plane it cannot it cannot tilt off the yz plane okay so now if i'm going to sketch okay now if we are going to sketch over here now okay now i'm going to sketch a different the 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 the, the end view so now if i were to draw our transformation so this is our Y, this is our Z, and over here, this is the rotation on the X. Okay. So from here, okay. so I'm going to draw our centroid along the z axis and then i'm going to sketch the centroid along our y axis okay so this moment will look like this Hey, wrong color, EJ. Now this moment will look like this. Okay. So okay. So this is our moment, and this moment over here, uh, is from okay. It is drawn. So this is our z z axis right and this moment is drawn from our z z axis and are we going to have an angle over here okay so this angle over here is theta and theta is okay i'm right up here theta uh starts from the uh, z axis and uh, clockwise rotation is positive. Okay, the rotation, the clockwise rotation is positive. So this moment have two components. Okay, so this moment has two components as you can see. So one component over here, I'm going to draw in blue. Okay. So over here, this is your moment in Z. Okay. And then you have another, give me two more minutes, we go for a break. Okay. Then I'm going to draw in pink. And in pink, this is our moment. Okay, uh, not a good color. Our, I will use orange. Okay, so this will be our moment in Y. And moment in X, if we were to use our right hand rule, it will look this way. Okay. And then if we were to do our moment in Y, the rotation, to us, the rotation is important. It will help us define what is clockwise or anti clockwise. 
Okay. Okay. With that, we go for a five minutes break and then we come back again. Okay. Come back at 8.50. Thank you. <laughs>